Right now, Amy's exclusive interview with the former wife of Hunter Biden. He spoke with Kathleen Buell. She's out with a new memoir. She certainly is, George. And Hunter Biden has, of course, attracted a great deal of attention over his business dealings, his troubled and turbulent personal life. Through it all, his former wife, Kathleen Buell, has remained in the shadows. But now in her new memoir, If We Break, a memoir of marriage, addiction and healing, she is now breaking her silence. She was married to Hunter Biden for 24 years. And this morning, for the first time, Kathleen Buell is opening up in an ABC News exclusive about her new memoir, If We Break. The process of writing the book was incredibly cathartic. I came to own some of the decisions and choices I made, which was hard. Now divorced from the president's son for five years, Buell detailing everything from watching her husband struggle with drug and alcohol addiction. At what point in your marriage did you realize that Hunter had a drinking problem? With addiction especially, there's so much shame surrounding it that it becomes something that we don't talk about. We've seen images of Hunter, the ones that were on his laptop looking disheveled. Was that the husband you knew in moments at times? Not at all. He was struggling under a massive drug addiction. And that's heartbreaking and painful. And that wasn't who I was married to to her decision to let him control their finances. You say you weren't really involved in the finances at all. This was one of the harder parts for me to write and to acknowledge. It's embarrassing to say that I ceded all financial control to my husband. Do you know why you did that? I liked the nice things. And I didn't want to think about the cost at which they were coming. Writing this book really helped me to understand how unfair that was to Hunter and how unhealthy that was for me. It was in 2003 when Hunter returned from rehab the first time, and he tells you something about the tax situation. What did he tell you? That we owed money in taxes, but that he had set up a payment plan and he wasn't worried. In the last several years, Hunter Biden's finances have come under intense public scrutiny. Biden announced in December 2020 that federal investigators had been probing his tax affairs and foreign business dealings. Sources telling ABC News part of the investigation includes Hunter Biden's work with a natural gas firm based in Ukraine called Burisma, where he served on the board from 2014 to 2019. The investigation is ongoing. Biden has not been charged with a crime. If you were called to testify, would you have anything to say? No. I have buried my head in the sand. I really hope that's a lesson that women hear. Understand your finances, take responsibility for them. I sat down with Hunter back in 2019. I asked him specifically whether or not he would have been asked to be on that Burisma board if his last name hadn't been Biden. He said to me, I don't know, probably not. I don't think there's a lot of things that would have happened in my life if my last name wasn't Biden. Would you agree with that? Not entirely. Trying to get someone to parse out what parts of their life, you know, came from their parents is, in my mind, not a, a healthy exercise. So I think he has always acknowledged the benefit and advantage of coming from a prominent family. Did he deliberately curry favor or seek profit based on who his father was? That's the question people ask. In your experience as his wife, did you see that? I saw someone who loved his father, respected his parents, and was proud to be their son. And it was here that I walk with my girlfriends. Where they Buell also recounts the day she learned of Biden's relationship with her late brother-in-law's widow, Hallie, after Beau passed away. But while she and Hunter were still married, she says one of her daughters found text messages between her father and her aunt on his phone and called their therapist to help tell Kathleen. Did Joe or Jill Biden ever talk to you about what happened? I mean, I know they put out a statement. I don't know how that made you feel, saying they supported the relationship between Hunter and Hallie. The one thing I've never, ever questioned was Joe and Jill's love and attention to my three daughters. Divorce was hard on all of us, 
because we were very close. But we come together out of a shared love for my daughters. After their divorce, another battle, Buell learning she had stage three colon cancer. Nobody in my family had colon cancer. I am a runner, relatively healthy. So when she said that I had cancer within minutes, I thought, I can't believe I was that upset about divorce. She says she is now looking ahead to the next chapter of her life. Why did you decide to go back to your maiden name? Because I think the Biden name was so much a part of my identity. I mean, the idea that I was a 49-year-old college-educated woman with a community of support, you know, relatively smart, I really felt like I couldn't make it on my own. That's crazy. It was frightening, but I did it, and it felt empowering. I wrote, this is not a story about who's right and who's wrong. I really tried to keep it to what was my relationship to Hunter's addiction. Where was I in my marriage, in the choices I made? This is my story, the story of Kathleen Buell. As for what's next for Kathleen, she has co-founded a new women's club, the House at 1229. She says it's a way to give back to the community that helped her, support her, nurture her through those tough times. ABC News has reached out to the White House and to Hunter Biden for comment. They have not responded, but Kathleen says when she told Hunter she was writing this book, he told her it sounds like it was cathartic for you, which she said it was. Her memoir, If We Break, is available now. She did go through some tough times. She so certainly did. No question. Thank you, Amy. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.